part of this, they are going to have to roll initiative to determine their place in the turn order. That is a 19 and a 24. Oh, we're fucked. But no valid token. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's actually sick. I can select the token and do the... There you go. You have a bit of a lifeline. There you go. 8, 13, what the fuck? So because it was Joby's uh, turn... Hold on, can I change this? I can, okay. So I'll just make one 19. And we'll make one 24. And so because it was Joby's turn... You know what, no, they get a surprise. They, they, they pop out. They're higher than pretty much everyone. This is a new round you of bastard. combat. Hell yeah. Oh. Fuck. I didn't. Trikus go to 20. What the fuck? What's happening? Between Trikus and, and. I mean. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Lichel. Yeah, Lichel had 20 last time we played. Uh, 20. Uh, uh, oh, we switched back to normal. Yes. Oh, Alright. Um, my turn ended last time, so I would not be near that one. Hello? Oh, I oh wait. The oh, your turn ended? Yeah, I killed the last one. Ah, gotcha. Well, in that case, then yeah. Uh, then I'm, I feel completely justified in just uh, Stalling starting, starting a whole minutes. new turn order. I mean, you could just let me shoot the circle more. Ah, but where's the fun in that? They are going to begin, and we'll we'll just get right into it. We'll hop right into it. Does anyone remember how remember how to combat in this worked, or are we? Um, uh, I believe, I believe, uh, you do. You have your regular actions, and you have your side actions. You have your movement, and so you can do side actions at any time, movement at any time, regular action at any time. In any order. Okay, so it's standard action, move action. My okay. So, what is the, the zergling speed? I think the zerglings were pretty busted, actually. Zerglings have really high speed, and remember, everybody but me missed like most most of their shots. And yeah. I don't think I have the highest instinct. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? No, because I don't want to die. I took a lot of damage. What are my hit points at? You took two hits. So, also, um, if, unless if you didn't update your uh, bullet count before the end of the thing, uh, just keep I, in track. I did that. You you shot like a couple. I think everyone shot two rounds except for Kennedy, who only shot you one. Shot one bullet. Yes. Yeah, but I shot four bullets. Mm -hmm. I have correctly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had the primo tactic of throwing Bad. myself in camouflage. Mm hmm. Alright, so let's see what these Zerglings are gonna do. Um, well. A whole lot of nothing. Nah, they're gonna be doing a whole lot of something now. No, they're doing a whole lot of nothing. I have 18 HP. They ain't doing shit. You have 18 HP? <laughs> yeah, I went from 46 to 18. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Um, so we're going to start with 24. You know what? Just because he's 24, we're going to say he's on top. He's he's emerging out of a pretty nice little rubble pile right here, so we can just call that this guy. He's, he's ready to go. Um, well, he's still a coward, and he can't hit me. That sounds like a player who really wants to get hit by the Zerglings. Yeah. <laughs> um, Is that a target I see? Yo, you, you can't just call them a coward and expect them to... To, to, to do what you say. That, that's not how Zerglings work. Our top. He's gonna take his little fun speedy ass and go uh, two squares to get on top of the rubble here. And then he's gonna go two, four, six. Ooh. And end up there, right next to sort of right because Kenny, you weren't on top of the rubble pile, you were coming out from inside of it. I um, just pulled my gun out of the rubble pile and it's fired. 
Oh, so you are in, actually inside the rubble pile. I am covered in KFC boxes that I was doing. Oh. Isn't that the branch of the KMC that's with us? The KFC? The KFC. The KFC. <laughs> Do true. I forgot we, we ca canonized that this is the KFC. Our special ability, flea, special ability, special ability, special ability, Zerg traits. Here we go. Yep. They can burrow as a standard action. Which, as a Zerg, um. You know, six isn't really its full movement, so it'll take its sort of last bit of movement, or 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 it takes the last small bit of its movement because it kind of is right above you, or you know, I guess it can move from diagonal from there to there, but we'll put him right there just for simplicity. And then he's gonna, uh, this thing's gonna start digging into the rubble and uh, try and land sort of right on top of you, Kennedy. Oh, this son of. Bitch. Yeah. Um. Can you roll? Ac well, I mean, I don't think you can roll flat agility. I was gonna say. Oh, I guess you can oh. roll flat agility. Um. Mixed up, yeah. Ac uh, yeah, I was gonna say if you have acrobatics, you can roll acrobatics. But if you want to roll just flat agility instead, I guess sure. I got. Um, why is acrobatic strength? Might be agility? No, acrobatics is agility. Athletics is strength. Oh, I'm great. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'll roll. I was okay, I was looking at the wrong one. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's pretty much the same trick, so yeah, I'll put acrobatics in. Okay. 22? Notes focus. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's my special trait. Yeah, seems good to me. Uh, it tries to burrow down, and you kind of, uh, upon hearing like the fucking rubble above, you kind of s start giving away. You, uh, I don't know, do some flashy shit. Like, well, how how would Kennedy? Like, 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 how does Kennedy avoid getting like toppled by this zergling? Go even deeper than the garbage. You, I, I feel like that isn't a great idea, but go for it. I'll move, move a Kennedy in like one square in any direction. Any direction. Yeah. Uh, I'll say you just, just. Yeah. There. And we'll put the zergling there because he's kind of burrowed into the rubble where you once were, and you kind of slide along the edge there. Okay. Uh, we'll go into the next turn, which is Abraham. Letchel. Excellent. Yes. I'm a mathematician, but I think it's a great idea. The whole party is in one convenient circle. At least they're not banelings. True. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The one on the bottom Major starts more question. More. What's a bangling? Uh, a oh, baneling no. is an evolution of the zergling that instead of tearing you apart with claws, it just fucking explodes. It acid. Yes. So the one up here Lovely. is currently um burrowed into the ground. Let, let, let me change my color here real fast. Wait, can you change the there color you of your thing? Yes. Yeah. Wait, how? You just click next. Go next to your little icon. Your Yo, name what it. the fuck? Never knew what? How many hours you have in this thing? I figured that out week one. So the one, the one up here is currently uh third girl in the trash, correct? Yes. It's in my domain now. So not being able to see it. Abraham is going to like turn his attention to the other circle. He is going to move upon it and then attempt to shoot. So I have a speed of five. Okay. Uh, but literally one square. 
No, 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 no. Speed of five, that is the amount of squares that you have. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna do a move of three then, so like right around. Here. Tank Lechel. That is, that is the best use of an old man. <laughs> Hell yeah. I am a trained agent of the shit. Emojin. Thank you, the emo I'm a trained agent of the Emotion Protector. I... 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 I'm trained. Alright, take See, your old time. man brain is catching up to you. Take your shot. Well, yeah, so let me confirm that's close enough. Uh, uh, medium range. Is that the medium range? Uh, yes. Literally everything in here is actually probably within short range. Oh, really? I'm 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 pretty sure. I, I think medium so range is like right. thirty squares out or something. Okay. Oh, I, I, I just roll weapon attack. E, I think so. Yeah. Let me check the thing. Procedure for weapon attack. Roll a d20 for an attack. Add your attack accuracy, which it already automatically does. Plus four for every attack beyond the first. That doesn't matter for you. Compare the attack roll to the target's defense. God damn! I didn't even have to nerf the zerglings for you to hit it. Come on now. You guys have so oh, much. Yeah. You, you guys have so much trouble hitting that first zergling. That I was like, okay, you know what? I'll balance a little bit and bring their defense down. And then you roll a twenty-four for the first attack. Are you kidding me? He's the exception, I am a not the standard. Agent of the emotion protectorate. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, determine how much the attack roll surpasses the target's defense. That is, uh, what is your um, what's your instinct? Oh, um... There, uh, oh. Four. Your instinct is four? Yes. Uh, wow, shit, okay. Um, so that's plus four damage then, because you get the whole, the whole bonus, and then reduce targets attack damage by the wait. Okay, no. Does your weapon have any? Your weapon doesn't have any penetration, right? Then it probably doesn't. Its damage resistance is nine, so that would then be eighteen plus four minus nine is. 13 damage? Yeah, so like I said, that'll do 13 damage to it. So you blow a little, you know, maybe you clip over on one of its hind leg limbs. And it gives out a little zergling uh, screech. So I hope you're proud of yourself, you monster. Oh, <laughs> Next turn is our little baby Zergling friend. Who you just brutally hurt. I switched them because that's where they are in the turn order thing, so. Yeah, like if I hover over in the turn order, it highlights the person, the, the token that it is. So I was like, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, as you can imagine, it does not take kindly to being shot. On, Reds. Okay. And uh, it's just gonna try and eat your face. How far is a leap? Is a pounce? Wow, a pounce is really. I think it's gonna pounce at you. The pounce will make it so that you don't get your agility bonus to your defense. That is an attack of 17. Does that hit through your uh, defense? defense? Yeah. Like, I have it open, so be God damn. <laughs> yeah, so it's gonna. As you can see, the name of the plan, it's using its fangs, so it is going to rip and tear. Um. Until it is done. Until it is done. Um, 
so with the attack overage, it's going to do 29 damage, and your defense is 5, so it'll do 24 damage to you. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm dead. You're not dead. No, you have 14. I am down 16. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> additionally, I have another very important question for you. What is your damage threshold? Crippling Wounds. You receive a crippling wound when damage surpasses damage threshold. Crippling Wounds accumulate with multiple wounds and increases the ongoing penalty with additional wound points. Please roll a d20 to see which limb is wounded by the Zergling's vicious onslaught. Oh boy! An 11? Uh, that is a core wound, so when it pounces on you, it actually kind of it starts biting at you. It gets a nice little chunk of, of stomach and, and like, you know, center of mass area. Um, oh, man, it's really ripped out his pacemaker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you take an additional plus five damage. And you lose one healing threshold uh, until the wound is healed. We have Trichus. Oh boy, a local ghost. Please save the day, Trichus, with your cool, cool long rifle. Yeah, uh, the fucking thing remade. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to aim to my talent so I get blocked in and not do it. Do the other bonuses I already have. Just try to shoot the thing. <laughs> okay. Um. Are you incorporating the minor action to aim? Yeah. Okay. It's not aim because it's through my. Oh right. Uh, That's that what you mean. Me I'm sorry. I, like I said, I I'm sorry. I didn't look over all the rules. Something. Like, just making sure we're we're all on. We're calculating everything that needs to get calculated. So go ahead and, and roll that attack. Instead of getting me plus two, I get plus three. Yes. And so you didn't move or anything. Uh, I guess I can note that this Zergling, um, the, the one on the top that tried to burrow into onto Kennedy, I guess it's kind of in cover now because it's in the junk pile. The one eating my stomach. Yeah, so then I'm just going to shoot the other one. Yeah. Attacking up. <laughs> Roll the seven, or roll the fucking seven. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. <laughs> oh. Fuck me, what the hell? So, so Trichus. I, I need a, I need a character to be a sniper and I'm <laughs> shit at shooting them. <laughs> oh my this god. This is what happens when you don't complete your ghost training. Uh, Trichus. Man, if only there's a way to prevent that. Trichus, you spin around and take it. And take a really quick aim at the Zergling. Like you look through your scope, you line it up, and you fire off the shot. The problem is, is you do that, and you don't really finish the turnaround when uh, before you take the shot. So while you end up like resting your aim on the Zergling, the bullet does go wide and kind of like uh, travel late. Like it kind of just whizzes a bit above the Zergling and, and where uh, Letchel is. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine he says that to Abraham right before he gets here. Um, yeah, that's okay. I'm, I'm, listen, it's, it's your first combat, and it's fine. Uh, I mean, hey, on the bright side, if you lose a character this early, it's not like we've invested a whole lot in them. <laughs> Disconnected. <laughs> um... But so yes, we'll move on to Kennedy now, who, you kind of, like you said, you did a little acrobat, a little smooth through the rubble, so you're still kind of in the weird junk tunnel, it's just that, hold on. Got a security blanket. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it's just that the Zerlin burrowed down and then 
kind of almost staring this thing down because it is it came down and like sort of fell down through the junk where it wanted you to be and now it's kind of staring right at you. Uh with shotgun in hand, I kind of casually point it at his face. And just be like, oh, Open my dude, and just kind of just pull the trigger. I watch so shit. Oh my god, guys, please. I made them easier. So when we all die, we are uh, we're, we're gonna be playing for the mid, right, guys? <laughs> Okay. I'll finish Cyberpunk by next week. I mean, if we die, we're not... Let's not start at level 1. Let's start at level 5. You fire your shotgun. And, uh... It being a shotgun... You, you somehow miss when the Zergling is kind of right in front of you. But you do do a lot of damage to the fucking surrounding junk, uh... Thing... Pile. And, uh... Some of the, like, stuff above you kind of... Shakes and begins kind of falling apart. So, um, if you could roll another crush, if you could roll another acrobatics for me, it crushed and killed me and the Zergling. Well, the Zergling rolled a nat one on this check, so that's very just... bad. Oh. Okay, on my we're, luck, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill the through terrain. <laughs> Honest, huh? 21. All right, so you um, you kind of yes. notice this stuff going. You do your shotgun thing, and the zergling uh, kind of looks you in the eye, and you can almost hear it kind of go like, <laughs> uh, and then you look up, see the infrared, the, the junk above you kind of shake, and you do like some sick little movement to the side. I'm gonna put you right here, and you deftly avoid the sort of junk avalanche that the zergling then gets sort of, uh, gets caught up in. I like to imagine I was laying on a petri dish or something, and I just kicked the other pile of junk and it slides me out. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna give him a little, uh, a little stun thing, I guess. So, uh, the Zergling is, doesn't take any damage, but it is going to have to take a little bit to uh, unbury itself from the, the junk that it's been covered in. Now we just kick it until it's dead. Basically. Um, so yeah, we'll then move on to Joby. I can reload and do the prep bonus action in the same turn. Yeah, is your weapon a gradual reload? Yeah. Yes, so that's a minor action, so you can, uh, like, load the two shells that you shot last time and be back up at six or whatever it is. Well, yeah, but, um, no, I've shot four shots, because I shoot twice. Oh. Because of my, uh, instinct or whatever. Right. Yeah, I have two shots. Um... Uh, but how how many extra act or the uh, the not bonus but the minor actions do I have? One, and then uh you can One. yeah, and then if you don't want to move, you can sacrifice a move action for an extra minor action. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna sacrifice my move. I can actually see anything. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna move to sacrifice that as. Uh, other minor action, and mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, load, or reload two shots in my pistol, and then uh, uh, prep it so I can shoot it, and then I'm going to fucking shoot the bastard. Which bastard? There are many. Or, I only see two bastards. I mean, well, there are, there, there are two four bastards, but um... Can I see the one that's in the, uh, that's in the, the junk? 
Um, I'd say it's pretty buried, so actually, like, making a shot against it, like, it's kind of like how I was saying earlier with Trichus, where it kind of, it kind of has cover. Um. So, well, then I'm gonna shoot the non-cover Alright, sounds good. Roll, roll DOS attack. Right. 21. Yeah, 21. Thank god, someone who can aim. I don't have any more instinct than you guys. I don't know about my ranked weapon skill though, but... Alright, so that would be overage of two? Okay, okay, okay. My ranked weapon skill is ranked three. So it's gonna get chunked for um, a pretty sizable 11 damage, which is pretty good. 11 for my base 18 damage? That don't make sense. Is it, a, it has damage resistances. Yeah. Oh, right. Zer I forgot. Zerglings have armor same as you? No, they don't. They just pop in the video game. So let me just pop them now. <laughs> Fuck those guys. They're stupid. <laughs> no. Uh, but I to yeah. be honest, the Zerg is a deadly for a normal. Yeah. yeah remember, you guys game. are not, like... Well, yeah, Trikus kind of this, but... Yeah. You're, you don't no, have, I, you don't have yeah, the CMC cool. suit, so... Yeah, we're just unaugmented un people. I understand. Great. I'm just trying to be funny to myself. I need to laugh something. True. You flip that gun around, you pop it, and it's it's yeah. like having a good old time goring Lechel, and then uh, your shot kind of catches it in the side and it falls off a little bit, and quickly stand back up and regain its, its composure. Why don't you hit somebody your own size, you stupid thug thing? I don't know what Zerg are. It, it roars back at you. <laughs> okay. It is now our top Zergling's turn. He is stunned by rubble, so it is now Lechel's turn. <laughs> well, I'm going to, like, Stuff my gun up against this thing's head and pull the trigger. I think that's gonna be a cold shot. That is a cold shot because you are trying to bet on this zergling not swallowing your hand. Yeah. When okay, okay so cold shots, uh, you s <laughs> while aiming. While aiming, gain plus two. Accuracy. Alternately, you can sacrifice your aim bonus to make called shots. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna aim at it. You can't do that. You can aim at it. Yeah. But if you were gonna aim for a specific Ew. body part, it would ensure um, a crippling wound. Hell. And Hell. aiming for the, the head is vital or critical, and that would be a minus six to your accuracy. Yeah, well, I'm not hitting them without any minuses. Let's not do that. Yeah. Do uh, it. I really should have, but it's just so damn cool, you guys. If you feel really flimsy cool. in real life. The current uh, lowest confirm attack that hits is a 21, so if you can get a 27... Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, yeah, no, okay, we're aiming. Rule of cool, we're Matthew, like, rule okay, of cool. Take, no. take, take that plus two. Yeah, let's yeah. just go, like, take this, like, duelist-looking stance-type thing. Uh, roll in. Well, it's really good you didn't take that negative, that mod, that negative modifier. Yeah, that's the good news. That's the that's the good thing. The bad thing is you still miss. <clears throat> so you like you try to point your gun down in like a cool way, and then you fire off, and the zergling kind of just tilts to a side, and the bullet goes straight into the ground. I, I want to know what the, what is the zergling's defense without being nerfed. Um, without being nerfed, it is 
21. Jesus, how do you expect a level 1 party to kill that? You killed the first one pretty easily, honestly. Not easily. We all, like, I think I was the only hours. person that shot it. Other it than, took uh, one round of turns to kill that one Zergling. Yeah. Um, had their chance it, to just it actually, it in a two Zerglings is a recommended, um, is a... I, I checked in certain, some of the encounters that it was like, that it went through, and it was like, hey, um, two Zerglings is about a level one encounter. About. Because one of the, one of the fucking adventures that they have, like, the first fight in it is two Zerglings, so. Jesus. <laughs> I think Can we I, make you it. You know, guys, I think we have a really poorly optimized party. I mean, it Can is. We make it to my castle. Or are we gonna be safe? Um. Okay. Throw a trash. I mean, the zerglings came out of the trash. What what would make you think that the trash is safe? The concrete floor. Ah, uh, that is possible. Um. So. That is Letchel's turn. Letchel, do you, are you gonna try to move or anything? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, yeah, I'm gonna start backing off. So, Alright, sick. Do you wanna really back up that far, or do you wanna just use a shift action? Oh, uh, what's that mean? It means you won't trigger attacks of opportunity, but you only get to move one space. I would highly suggest not triggering attacks of opportunity. <laughs> yeah, let's just, let just hope that the Zerglin is tired from knowing on your stomach. Alright. And then, yeah. So we're going to go through this Zerglin's turn. Zerglin 19. It is going to, let's see, hop up onto the trash. So let's see, it's hopping up. Ah! It's going to hop up again, right onto Trichus. Okay, we'll actually we'll put it here so that it's a bit less cluttered down there. Um, he'll be on this side, so it kind of crawls up the trash and, and comes his way up and then comes up and tries to bring his little back hind claws down on you. Does a 14 hit? That's the higher ground. What's your defense? It's something horrible to commit or something. Oh, come on. I believe in you. You, you have to have a higher agility than that. No, uh, my agility is great. It's the armor penalty she's due. It's, it's an 11. What? Should I remind you that I picked up all the most expensive stuff so I didn't have it <laughs> to add to the stat? <laughs> so yeah, I'm not bumping the basic bumpkin. It's an 11. Why do you, wait, how, why do you have a minus 2 penalty again? It's the armor. I'm wearing have a minus two penalty. Wounded. Oh, cause you have flak armor. No, it doesn't. It's like <laughs> five hundred or something. Oh no. <laughs> that That's is garbage. <laughs> yeah, minus two penalty is pretty severe. <laughs> Where's where is the f okay flak armor? Oh, but you get a six damage resistance, and that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I mean, I mean the protective vest is Special also Special traits too. cumbersome. Yeah, I'm not good at stealth or athletics or any of those, so Are I don't you a care. Sniper? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not stealthy. <laughs> you don't. You don't stealth Trikis up to the targets. You stay fifty feet back and shoot them. Trikis stands on top of a hill and just like. Takes aim that way. He doesn't oh, lay down man. a prone. He just stands up there on his hill and stakes his stand. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna do some extra damage then, and then it's minus what six because of your. Uh... 
flak armor. It has a six damage oh. resistance. It is going to deal 17 damage to you. Which thankfully is just one under your uh, damage yep. threshold, so. After this Zergling kind of, like I said, hops up on the trash, brings its claws down and maybe catches one in, in your shoulder and fucking get pretty beat up. Uh, you know, you started this campaign bloodied and bruised and you're gonna keep, stay that way. But it's your turn. Not hurting me. Thankfully, I'm a close on that shot. I don't get the horrible, horrible minuses from being in melee. Yes. Go you actually get a bonus. You get plus one, plus one extra attack. Because you get plus one extra attack and you get plus one damage. Yeah. That's that's counted in any close range, and I was already shooting at close range, so I already had that. Ah, okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Were you that's adding just... in like the bonus, like eighty, like like all the extra stuff you got from precision shot? Yeah, all of that, and I am still missing. It's just not talk yeah. about it. Okay, so minor action to aim. Yeah, I'm I'm scoping because even though. It's Right in my face. I'm just, I'm still gonna scope. And it brings so those things down. You don't even flinch. You just have your gun trained. You look like a, uh, sniper in TFT. That's, oh, fuck. It's spawning me. Yeah, they definitely spawning me. Uh, your, is your instinct five? Or four? Four. 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 Okay, I'm just I'm just making sure that the the bonus damage you're getting is accurate, that you're making that you're getting it, because you get the precision shot gives you bonus damage equal to your instinct, so it's the plus four from instinct plus one from close uh, combat. combat. Yeah. So yeah. Plus, plus you get four <laughs> extra damage. No. Uh, yes. I have I have rendering four, which is. God knows what that means. Wait, on the lawn rifle? I just get rendering for on all couple of weapons. Okay. So rending reduces the damage threshold. You were already already wounding this bass with bastard. But holy shit. <laughs> now you absolutely are. Um Okay, wait, wait, so what gives you rending again? Just so that I'm... It's terrible range. It just gives rend... And if I shoot at people from a long range, they get scared. You're gonna do a total of 31 damage, minus his damage resistance, which is an amount. See? Oh, actually, never mind, because his damage resistance would have put him, like, literally just under the damage threshold, so that rending actually does matter. Um, so, so this Zergling is going to take 22 damage. And it's going to take a wound. So we're going to go ahead and roll that 1d20. A 9 gives it a core wound. So it takes an extra 5 damage. Okay, so what Lechel was trying to do, where he like fucking tried to put the gun down on the Zergling and fire off, Trichus actually like accomplishes. Uh, the Zergling runs up, brings its claws down into Trichus's shoulders, and he just doesn't even flinch, stays aiming, and pulls the trigger, and it goes like right into like the fucking. Not into the head, but like right past the head, buries itself in the back, and it lets out a a zergy uh, yelp. Lechel nods approvingly before it turns attention back to the final uh, zergy. All right. Next thing is Kennedy. 